Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today on Kevy's Kitchen we're making French onion soup stuffed meatloaf. Can you believe it? I mean, <laughs> look at that. Just meaty, juicy, oniony, cheesy. Did I say cheesy? I don't know. Anyway, it's just real good. <laughs> uh, quite delicious. The face tells it all. Mic drop. Let's get into this video, friends. Here's your list of ingredients. Feel free to pause the screen, take a look at all that stuff, or just look down in the description box below. And remember, try not to skip. I appreciate it. <laughs> really helped out my channel with the watch times. First things first is we're going to add in our uh, sausage and our ground beef to a large mixing bowl. What up, Phoenix? Don't forget to get that little piece of film off of there because you never need that. What do you guys think of the new angles? I'm, I'm trying something different in this video. It's been some months since I've been able to sit down and had the time to put together a video. Your brother's been busy, but I'm back and I'm trying these things. Add in your uh, onion soup mixtures. That might have been too much onion soup. I don't know. Star of the show, in my opinion. If you've been watching this channel for a while and you're a fan of the show, you know that I love my stovetop dressing or stuffing, and it's a perfect additive. It's just packed full of flavor for all things burgers, meatballs, meatloaf. Like, give it to me. I'm here for all the things. If you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to smash that subscription button, hit the like, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. Okay, so you're gonna grab your two eggs and uh, get your crack on. You know, uh, pop them on the side of the plan. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. I'm wearing gloves here, as should you. And then, you know, using the tools that God gave you, get in there and mix it real good. You know, like I always say, mix it. Oh, mix it, mix it real good, mix it. <laughs> all right, yeah, squeeze it all in there. mix it up see what I mean by changing different angles just trying something new you know as I grow and as I learn so shall you but I can't grow and learn without your feedback so please feel free to leave me some in the comment section down below you know I greatly wholeheartedly appreciate you all oh that was smooth <laughs> And don't be concerned about the uh, larger uh, chunks, if you will, of the dressing. It's all going to um, absorb the moisture and mellow itself out. If, you, if you'd like to, you can always feel free to put it in a food processor to grind it up super fine and make like uh, breadcrumbs. And then once you're finished, you should have this beautifully formed loaf ready for your next steps and stages. Onion time. Hence, this is a French onion stuffed meatloaf. Slice them up. I have faith that you know how to slice onions, so we're going to bypass all of that. Get your little pot over medium heat and get ready for the goodness. Time to sweat these babies out. And remember, you want to slice. You don't want minced or diced or roughly chopped onions. You really want to slice because the texture is what we're looking for. And then we're gonna sweat these down. Um, takes about 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat. Uh, you really want to open up the juices and let those, uh, or the onions and to let the uh, natural juices come out and they'll start to brown and caramelize and of course you couldn't forget a little butter because everything's better with butter I'm just saying melt my lovelies melt <laughs> so how are you guys doing today I missed you all so very much I apologize for it being so long but you know brother is busy 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 we still have time to get in this kitchen 
and we're gonna add a little garlic powder or any seasonings that really suit your fancy for this dish. There you go. Eventually the butter will melt down everything. You're just gonna add all of your seasonings before we start to really get in there and mix it all together. So a little fresh cracked black pepper. You can be like the lady from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Needs more pepper! <laughs> you can never have enough in my opinion. A little ground sage, because why not? We're a little extra. You can't be extraordinary without being a little extra. Shout out to my friend Stephanie. Love you, babe. And just because we're fancy, a little adobo sasson. I don't know why I just said that like this they're the same thing they're two completely different things but you know just go with it <laughs> trust the process just a little salt just a little bit now we can get in there and mix it up real good get everything nice and evenly coated uh, with the butter and the seasonings. You can adjust your temperature if you'd like to here, but you see how the onions are starting to tenderize and the, caramel the caramelization, pardon me, is now beginning and you can just continue to stir, mix, or agitate whatever your beverage is until they're golden brown. Just like so, now you can add in your pre-made French onion soup or if you have the time, you can make it from scratch. Look at all of that liquid gold. Ooh, I'm hungry just watching this screen, y'all. Hmm, I like the speed ramping and the slowing down thing. That's a new technique. I like that. I think I'll stick to those. There we go. Cover and let her simmer away. She's gonna reduce down and that French onion soup is really gonna to adhere to the onions and it's gonna create this thick, almost gravy-like um, substance and consistency and it's just wonderful. Allow it to cool down just a little bit as you uh, <laughs> form, cause you know, now the fun begins. <laughs> We're gonna actually build our loaf here. Right, you're gonna grab our beet loaf and we're gonna start to actually form your well. Now, I've made this meat loaf a couple times and it's still a bit of, hey, stop pinching the meat, you dirty. <laughs> um, I've made this meat loaf a couple of times and there's variations every time that I've done it. And I think this one was my least favorite variation of this. Um, I could have used I'll be another half a pound of ground meat to really form the bowl how I wanted it to. So we're going down with our cheese. I chose Swiss and Havarti for this one. If you like the video so far and if you find it beneficial in any way, or if you just like me or you don't like me, just leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you regardless. Um, but that cheese is going to act like a barrier from the French onion soup mixture and we're just going to layer that in. Now, moving forward, separate your meatloaf into two loaves of meat, and then you can build a bridge, if you will. You can make your bowl, layer your cheese, add in your mixture, and then top it off with your meatloaf. Here, I'm gonna try to, well, you'll see in a moment. At the end of the day, it still was delicious. So I'm 
pondering how I'm going to, <laughs> to close this meatloaf up. Um, so instead of trying, you know, if I had another ball of meat, I could have just placed it on top and then melted my edges together. But now we're just trying to get her in here together however you can, you know. Seal it up. it's working a little bit and we're getting there slowly but surely and it looks to be sealed enough but we could always do more we could always do more so now we're gonna layer our cheese down to create our melty barrier Gouda, Swiss. There you go, Kevin, you got it. And there you go. And you can take the rest of your French onion soup mixture and cover this up, smother it with the rest of the mixture, cover it all up and put it in the oven and bake it until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees and let it cool before you slice into her. And from first-hand experience, I'm here to tell you, not a ounce of this meatloaf will be left. That being said, I'll go ahead and let you continue to enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far without skipping, I love you. I miss you. And I'll see you soon. Boy, look at this. It looks a mess to me, but I'm here to tell you this was absolutely wonderful. I'm actually going to put a uh, card up of what it's supposed to look like from what I made it in the past. So you can kind of see that in, in screen here. Now time for that almighty reaction bite that I know you love so much, friends. I <laughs> can't even begin to tell you just how flavorful and flavor packed this was. I thoroughly enjoyed making this and I will definitely be making her again. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, yes. He's experiencing some things. Mic drop. <laughs> Thank you, friends. We'll catch you guys next time. I can't even continue to speak. So I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.